desiblitz.com. Hi, this is Mukhtar Sahota, and you're watching me on desiblitz.com. Hi, this is Faisal from desiblitz.com. Today we bring for you an exclusive gupshap with eminent music producer and composer Mukhtar Sahota. Mukhtar, welcome to desiblitz.com. Hi, Faisal. Thanks for having me here. Thank you. Mukhtar, how would you describe your music? Well, my music, uh, it's, I would say, experimental, really. Um, I mean, a lot of people associate me like, with the Sahotas and what I've done in the past, and they kind of, that kind of defines, you know, the kind of music producer that I am. Uh, but I think mo- majority of my music is kind of experimental, really. I mean, I, I like to kind of, you know, uh, fuse music together, different genres and stuff. Reggae, rock, uh, um, you know, like classical Indian music and... You know, all kinds really. So it, there's no sort of like, I don't have like any barriers or anything that I think, oh no, I, I can't really kind of fuse that together. You know, I'm always sort of experimenting and stuff. So How can we address the issue of uh, the more emphasis that technology is playing in music in comparison to the past, where we, you know, we were used to seeing people um, and some great musicians like R.D. Berman, who had live orchestras. The thing is, it's about, I think, learning the instruments. I think that's where it starts from, you know, learning your art. I feel people are kind of skipping that because we've got the technology. And I think that's that's where, uh, y- you know, we get in the dance side to it, basically. That's, that's, that's not really letting people, you know, pro- progress as in as a musician because everything's there. You can get plugins, you can get all the instruments and the virtual instruments and stuff. Um, but and sometimes what I find is that people don't really use them properly because they don't really know how the instruments are played in the first place. So you, you know how a guitar is supposed to be played with with the drums and how a bass guitar sits with the drum kit and all that kind of stuff. You, you know you learn that as you go along, um, and I think you can't skip them kind of things yet because you can hear it in the music because it all becomes a bit of a, a bit of a mashup and 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 it doesn't really make any sense. The Sahotas was a super band. What are your fondest memories? I think if I go right back to the beginning, you know, when we started, it was just the three of us at the time. Um, and uh, we performed uh, at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, and, you know, I was only like 15 years old at the time. And this was like the starting of, uh, of the Sahotas. And uh, we got to play, uh, we did a competition at school and, and we won the competition, you know, and uh, we were invited to play at the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, and I think that that is like a highlight, really, in, in you know, the Sahota's uh, era. Being part of such a popular band, how did you react to female reactions and female fans? <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, um, it was it was more so. It was more so from the male, I think. We got more attention from the male fans than we did <laughs> than we did from the female fans. You know, I mean, in back, back in them days, it was like, yeah, you know, used to get a few girls on the front of the stage and stuff, yeah, but majority of it, I mean, the hardcore fans really was, you know, the, the, the lads, basically. <laughs> so, I mean, and, and they used to follow us from one gig to the next gig to the next gig. So, uh, yeah, we didn't really have any problems with the female <laughs> fans. So we can safely say that during that period, quite uh, aknilari. Well, I, uh, actually, yeah, I see where you're going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I did meet my wife uh, through that way, yeah. So <laughs> How different is it making music for films compared to pop? It is difficult to a certain degree. Um, the thing is, when I'm doing film music, you, you know, uh, you have to think about the scene, you have to think about the storyline, there's a storyboard, um, you know, and the director explains to you exactly how, you know, the kind of vibe he wants, the kind of feeling he wants from the music. And uh, I mean, the lyrics always, always kind of, they've, they've already been prepared, they've kind of given to me. And, um, and then basically it's down to me to create what his vision, what his vision is. With pop songs, uh, it's different because you, you know I have full control over that, you, you know, and I can I can go which way I want, what direction I want to take. Uh, sometimes the artist will say, you know, how about this, or or, or I'm looking for this kind of vibe, um, and and you know we can go with that. But pretty much uh, it's open with a pop song, but film songs, it's it's a lot different. 
Which instrument is your favourite? I mean, again, you, you play several instruments, but is there any particular instrument that is a favourite of yours? Uh, I think keyboards, really, because that's, that's the first instrument I go to. So anything I start, it, it has to be the keyboards. And I started as a keyboard player with the Sohotas. Um, and in production, as, as every music producer would know, is the keyboard is always the first instrument. And, uh, you know, I, I suppose that's uh, become uh, one of my favourite instruments. If you were not a musician, what would you be doing in life? Um, I don't know. I mean, I have certain interests. I mean, I've... I'm very much into sort of like um, kind of physical really anything physical like in, in the sense like you know painting decorating I love doing all that kind of stuff uh, building stuff I'm, I'm always uh, renovating and you know and in in recent times I've really got into sort of um, working on cars and stuff as well so you know that's like another hobby of mine so you know I, I don't know I might have been a car mechanic. <laughs> What's the most desi thing about you, Mukhtar? I think the most desi th thing about me is when we get together as a family. Y you know, um, when, when we are at certain events or whatever, you know. So um, I think it's just the desi. I, I suppose it's when I get on the dance floor and a lot of people don't expect me to do the hardcore desi style moves. Because <laughs> they normally see me in videos with guitars and being quite serious and stuff. But I think when I'm when I'm with my family, you know, that's when I really let my hair down and you know we get get down to the roots. Then, how critical are are you about your own work, or do you leave that to the missus? <laughs> well, she's she's always uh, she's always got my back really, and I always have to say to her, "Are you just saying that to me?" <laughs> um, but I'm very critical about my music, uh, you know. Always, I always have been really, and every time I listen back to uh, any of my music or any of my tracks, I'm always thinking, you know, I could have tweaked this a little bit, or I could have changed this sound here, or maybe the bass guitar could have been a lot different on on this track. So I'm always always critical about my music. And do you feel that you're still learning? Yeah, I'm, music is one of them things that you can never say like I've mastered it. I mean, I've been in the business for such a long time. I'm always learning. There's always new things to learn, um, you, you, you know, and, and that's the great thing about music, you know, because you know there's, there's certain things that I haven't really covered and, and I'm looking forward to one day getting there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve and, and it'll carry on. I've always wanted to sort of put a concert together where it's just, uh, you, you know, like 10 musicians from all different backgrounds, but it's all instrumental. And, and we, take, we take the audience on a journey. That's something that I've always wanted to do. And, uh, you know, I've, I've thought about it and I've kind of, uh, you know, started planning to get, to basically put that on the road. But I think it's, it's uh, one of them things that with my schedule and stuff, with doing film music and all this, uh, and, and doing the single tracks and everything as well, you know, I've never really had that sort of open time to say, look, you know, I really need to concentrate on something like this. I think that's something that I would really love to do. Thank you, Mokhtar Sahota, Thanks for so your happy. time, and we wish you all the very best for your future endeavours. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.